So thank you everyone for coming. Uh, we will start with the conference with some light talk. <laughs> uh, in this talk, I will present about uh, a, a plugin. It's a plugin to get a direct access to the Kijis Hub from your Kijis directly. A little bit introduction. So uh, my name is Ismail Suni. You can call me Ismail or Suni. I'm from Yogyakarta, Indonesia, but uh, working as a software engineer for a camp to camp. And I'm also a Kijis Indonesia user group representative. Uh, I'm a casual Kijis contributor. I do plugin or sometime core developer. And besides that, I also do something more, especially related to geospatial from routing engine, 3D map, uh, digital twin, or well, basically full stack developer. Little bit about my company is a camp to camp. Uh, it's a, it's a founded in 2001. It's there are 190 employees. We have a different department. One of them in geospatial department. It's around 60 or 70. We are operating in three countries: uh, France, Germany, and uh, Switzerland. And we can of a major European player in open source, not only for QGIS, but we also do geo network, Mavis Print, uh, open layers, and also another software uh, like Udo, and some infrastructure stuff. So yeah, a little bit uh, about my company is Camp to Camp. Uh, we basically we do open source project. Uh, we try to use open source project uh, and we also try to contribute uh, to the open source project. Not only as a committer, uh, some of us also a PSG on another uh, open source project like open layers and geo network and so on. Yep. So on the agenda here, I want to talk about the QGIS Hub, I hope, uh, and the Hub plugin itself. So what is QGIS Hub? Uh, basically, QGIS Hub is a, a way to share a plugin, uh, sorry, uh, to share a QGIS resource. It can be a style, a processing model, or 3D model, or even layer. Uh, there's also a, a, another way to share your resource. It's called resource sharing plugin. So uh, we found out that this resource sharing plugin is also great, but it's quite complex for like, if you just only want to share one or two style that you create, uh, because you need to create a repository and then you need to follow the structure and so on. So it's kind of complex for like a, a new user, for example, or non very technical one. Uh, here, uh, QGIS Hub try to offer you a way to share a, a QGIS resource in a simple way. So the current QGIS Hub is still under uh, plugin.qgis.org uh, dash style. Uh, it will be moved to a better domain uh, later. Uh, as Anita said in the in the talk this morning, uh, we will, there are still a lot of uh, harmonization being done about the, this sub website that we have. Currently, we run we have like 225 resources in the plugin hub, and this is the user interface of the Kijis Hub. So you can uh, find the style, for example, or geo package, or model, or processing model that you want to try or use. So there are some style also. Uh, it's, I think it's the most, uh, it has the most number of resources here. There are some uh, sub-style, uh, sorry, sub-category like fill or uh, color pen or uh, icon and so on, and you can explore a little bit later. And then we have some projects. So project basically you uh, package your layers and so on, and then you upload it to this hub and then you can share. So it's useful when like if you have training or something or you just want to start with something new and start learning. So sometimes I myself is not a QGIS user or QGIS power user. I'm more a developer, but when I want to try something simple, I just grab one and try with the, in my QGIS. Also style, because I'm not a cartographer or something, but I can use the style that uh, some people 
create very beautiful and then I can use it and I have the, the same style as them. And processing model is uh, basically, yeah, we know the processing model, you can write a Python or uh, using the model builder. And then using this, you can uh, upload. And then, uh, for example, in you have in a class or something, you can ask them to download and then uh, use it in your uh, workflow and so on. And some models are uh, useful for other people, like quite generic. So it can be useful not only for us and then, yeah. You can modify it later and then share it later. There is also a new thing uh, like uh, 3D model and layer. So basically 3D model uh, in 3D map, you can have uh, the 3D model to show your 3D map. Uh, so we can also share a 3D model in this hub so other people can use it also. Like for example, trees and car. I think there is a workshop by Raymond to create a 3D model, I think. And then maybe if you can create one and then you can upload it so that other people can use it. And layer definition is quite new. So basically you uh, share in the QLR file and then other people can use. It's useful, for example, to share a base map. This one is Swiss Topo Vector Tiles. So but this one, we have some statistic. Uh, it's a raw number. Uh, we haven't cleared up the, the bots or something. So we have uh, top order is Class Clarkson is like astronomy. <laughs> it's very big, like 200,000 download uh, only for himself. I think he's quite productive. <laughs> so yeah. So the other benefit of using this hub plugin, you can also get this kind of number of downloads. So yeah, it's kind of uh, fulfilling if you have a lot of download for your resource. And then, yeah, and this is just another uh, number. So most of them are marker and uh, fill just the most downloaded one. So how to use it? Basically, you go to the website, uh, find the resource that you like, and uh, edit manually to Kijis. Uh, there is a different way to add to Kijis. For example, uh, processing model, you either drag and drop in the toolbook, a toolbox widget, or you can also uh, put it in the directory of processing uh, model. For layer, you can go to the layer uh, setting and then you add the M uh, XML file. Okay, and for raising, uh, sorry, for sharing your resource, basically it's kind of the same one with when you share a plugin. So go to the website and then you upload the file. It's either uh, processing model or style file or uh, geo package. And then we need, we have some volunteer to review this uh, resource because yeah, maybe there is something bad or it doesn't work on other computer. And then after everything seems okay, then we, the resource is separate and published and then you can find it on the website. So the next one is about the hub plugin. Uh, the idea is uh, it would be very useful if we can interact with the the hub and the QGIS hub in your QGIS directly. So you don't need to go to the website. Uh, if you, for example, I think in the proprietary software, you can also do something like this where you can browse uh, other resource, available resource, and then you see directly in your uh, software. And we want to do something like in in QGIS. So we want to can browse and add the resource directly without going to, I don't know, putting the file in the correct directory and so on. It started last year actually uh, in the QGIS user conference or contributor meeting in Tenpush. And yes, yeah, so it's quite short, but it's working. Uh, so one user conference later today, <laughs> we have the plugin published in the, in the QGIS repository. Uh, it's developed mainly by me and my colleagues. So in camp to camp we have this kind of open source time where you can do whatever you want contributing to open source project. And yeah, this is one that we did. Uh, and you can find the code and the documentation. It's quite intuitive, so I think you don't need the documentation to read at all, I think. And of, of course you can find from the plugin manager in the QGIS. Okay, and then here is uh, an example how to you 
browse the the resource. So basically, you can search, you can see the the like the description and so on. You can see who upload this one and so on. So it's kind of uh, intuitive. And then uh, the good thing is you can add directly the the resource to QGIS. So for example, for style, uh, you can just uh, add the style and then it's already available in the style manager. So here, for example, the cartoon style, you can already use it and then, so it's kind of seamless integration of the hub with the QGIS. Yeah, so you can also download the file, but usually I just add two QGIS and that's it. For a uh, project, yeah, basically it's a Q package, so when you download and add, or add two QGIS, it will load the Q package in your QGIS directly after you choose the directory where you want to save the file. So this one is, I forget the name, but yeah. Yeah, basically it's just uh, an example to load the Q package layer. Okay, let me finish this one. Yeah, this one is saving the file and yeah, you can see the Q package uploaded. And then the um, processing model, uh, and this also you can find uh, the one that people already upload. For example, this one is non-overlapping buffer from point, yeah. Uh, then you can just use directly without need doing anything. So it's kind of, yeah, if you if you work with your friend or with a uh, college, then you can do it to transfer the model and yeah, it's kind of seamless. So yeah, I don't know if you still have time, enough time or not, if not, uh, if you, five minutes, uh, okay. It's kind of short and not long, so okay, I will skip the demo <laughs> just in case it's not long, but. Yes, yeah, so there are some feature plans. So basically, in this uh, hub plugin needs uh, API from the QGIS hub, and is currently under developed by Lofa, uh, the dedicated developer for the full stack. So things are getting added. For example, the API uh, currently is not uh, previously we don't support the 3D model or layer. So I hope in this. User, sorry, in the contributor meeting, I can work on it and add this API to the plugin so people can use it more. And in the long term, we want to support also for uploading the style. So basically, currently, you need to create the XML file on the Q package or the model and then manually upload on the website. But if we can do this one, uh, when the API is developed, then you can just, for example, right click and share your uh, resource and Tada, another person can use it. Okay, so and thanks for spreading the news from some friends. Uh, yeah, Hans and I don't know, Will Skin. It's being downloaded for like 7,000 in the meantime. So yeah. And last but not least, so I took the slide from Anita this morning. One of the way to <laughs> contribute the to contribute to Kijus is sharing the resource, uh, like the 3D symbol, I think it's quite common to be reused in another project or processing model and style. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, still, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I can do some demo uh, just to fill up the time. Okay. Yes, I already prepared uh, some empty one. So you go here. Uh, at the beginning, it will try to download all of the resource. And then if there is a new resource, you can also update the resource. So basically, it's updating if there's a new resource. We try to do it automatically, but yeah, time will tell. And then you can browse. For example, I want to a Q package here. Uh, for example, ah, sorry. You can 
also basically yeah, you want, you want to sort the number you can also do that one uh, like there is this one is like 20000 people downloading this file i don't know and then for example um, Yes, for well, okay, let's download a style here. The or the pencil, I think. Nope. Yeah, you when you add to style and then we can open the word uh, file. And then you can go to the style for example. And then you should find the pencil here. Okay. Yeah. So this is. Yeah. So this kind of seamless. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. I think that's enough. Uh, thank you for your attention. And yeah, if you have any question, yeah, please <laughs> or suggestion. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ismail. Questions? Nope. <laughs> I think it's quite simple no. enough. <laughs> In that case, I do have one. So you mentioned the review uh, p a process when I'm uh, contributing a, a resource. Uh -huh. so, is that, so if I submit something, then uh, a style, then is that then reviewed by a person? By a person. Or, so okay. Yeah, currently it's kind of the, like when you upload a plugin, it will be reviewed by some people, the reviewer, they will Try to try to usually because I myself is a reviewer, so I try to use your your resource in the three D and make sure it's working. And then I, if it's not working, I put some comment. And then yeah, basically if you need to you need to address the comment, and then mm -hmm. everything is okay. And then it's published. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any more questions? Oh, a question there. What are some of your favorite contributions, user, user contributions so far? Something that you found interesting or cool or maybe unexpected? So what, what something or, or useful, generally useful? For me? Oh, okay. For QGIS, yeah, uh, I did some uh, on, I think, f six years ago, I do Google Summer of Code. Uh, I do like 3D measurement tool and some, uh, what's the name? There is some visualization, not, not like adding some three, two or three uh, functionality in the 3D map. And also I do some bug fixes that, because people really use it and then when they fix the bug, they feel glad and it's kind of cool for me. <laughs> and then uh, I kind of forget what else. Once, like long, even longer before there is this GeoNode integration, uh, so basically, you can add GeoNode uh, in QGIS and explore it, and then add the map that inside it. But I think it's being replaced by a plugin because it's the nature of the API is changing fast, and I can't forget because I make a lot of small uh, improvement, but that I couldn't remember <laughs> one by one. <laughs> like there is some uh, filtering when you do uh, attribute selection and so on. So yeah, it's kind of hard, but the one that I like is the 3D one because yeah, for me it's kind of interesting to do 3D programming, <laughs> something like that. 